we had the meeting, as most of you know, with the professionals, the people on the ground, not politicians. And uh, I thought it was pretty sobering. What I took out of it, people speak for themselves, that they need a comprehensive approach. It's multi-year. It's not just this year. It's going to take a number of years to secure our borders. We need technology. We need barriers and they need people. Uh, so that's what we gathered out of it today. I'm hoping we can, from this, create the dynamic to try to bring us together to fund the government to secure the border. I'll call on her first. She Thank is you. the chairperson of the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, well, I think the chairman stated uh, very succinctly the three buckets that we're looking at and what kind of prioritization, but also that we can't do one without the other and we have to include everything. On a more general sense, uh, so those of you who know me know that I tend to be a very positive, optimistic person. Everybody in that room was participating. Everybody was listening. We were listening to the professionals and we were interacting both between the House and Senate, but also between Republicans and Democrats. And we bring something different to the table, some native Texans right there, some of us uh, who are on the appropriation side looking at the numbers, and then others who have been in this business for a long time. So uh, I, I feel that uh, we've taken a step forward uh, and uh, we're ready to now put the pencil on the papers and, and get back to work. I want to thank uh, Chairman Shelby for agreeing to hold this meeting uh, with the experts and certainly want to uh, commend uh, Senator uh, Capito for her work. But I also want to thank our Democrat colleagues for joining us today. They were all there and they asked good questions. And um, I would say a couple things. One, we talked about one size does not fit all, okay? So for example, Congressman Quare, his district is Laredo, part of San Antonio and then down to Laredo. They have a lot of local issues. They have ranchers, and they have you know uh, flooding, they have a lot of things that they have to contend with. So they have local issues. We have to recognize that. So part of the discussion today was talking with the experts Okay, it's not going to be one size fits all. It's a border barrier where you work with the locals and get something that works, that provides that barrier, that protection, but also addresses local concerns. I hope that helps us bridge the gap between Republicans and Democrats to get to a good solution here out of our Appropriations Conference Committee. So again, one size does not fit all, and that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to come up with a good solution and we heard from the experts today on how they're working very hard to do that. I hope that brings us together. That was one. But then the other thing is, it was very clear, as our chairman said, it's a three-legged stool. Yes, you need technology. Yes, you need personnel. But you also have to have border barrier. Here's one of the examples that one of the professionals gave us that I thought was really good. It's something we can all relate to. You know how you have the new uh, camera where you put it in the doorbell, somebody comes to your front door, and whether you're home or even somewhere else, you can look on your phone and see who's at the door, right? That's really helpful, isn't it? That's situational awareness. That's really good. But if you don't have a front door, they can just walk in, can't they? You need a border barrier. Congressman Grace. Well, I want to thank Senator Shelby for uh, pulling this together. Experts are who we needed to hear from, and uh, it was a really dynamic discussion. I'm, uh, uh, I have such a great appreciation now, uh, like I've never had before, for the law enforcement officials on the border. Uh, what they deal with is absolutely incredible. And so for anyone to leave this meeting today and, uh, and, and not accept the facts that are out there about the challenges that they face every day on the border uh, is, is just really not a good, accurate representation of what we perceive today. So uh, I'm very grateful to be a part of it. We've got a lot of work to do. And thank you, Shelby. Thank you. So I guess the bottom line here today is uh, where does this lead us? We hope it's going to lead to serious uh, substantive talks and uh, a solution. We'll know in the next few days. You know, the clock is ticking away. Right. Yes, Senator Shelby, how confident are you that you can get to an agreement out of this committee by the end of the week? Uh, confidence is a strong word. Uh, I'm uh, 
working toward that goal. We're hopeful the tone is good between the, the, the various members of the conferees. Uh, we're dealing in substance now, uh, something we haven't done before. I think today's meeting showed that we need a comprehensive approach to this. We need barriers, we need technology, we need manpower. And it's going to be multiple years. It's going to take a lot of money, but we owe it to the American people to secure our borders. When you say multiple years, does that mean that there are going to be multiple years in this bill, that it's going to cover 19, 20, and further out? No, we, we, we take year, appropriators take year by year. We don't have a specifically Sir, can you give us the names and titles of the people well, who agreed? I guess we could, but we haven't uh, yet. Uh, we'll, uh, I'd have to you confer with I had to confer with my uh, counterpart on the House side. Uh, these are professional people; they're not politicians. They were very candid. Uh, we like what they had to say and the way they said it, and go from there. Yeah. It, it, was, it was top customs and border protection, border patrol people. Well, I'll find out if we can get you the names. In the field. Yeah, we had some field people there. Yeah. Was it strictly border patrol or was it customs? Both. 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 They were there, but not you, other Mr. agencies. Mr. Such Mr. As can you Senator, point Senator, to Durbin, Senator Durbin exited and said that his impression was that the message from officials was that the thing they need the most and not to dismiss the barrier discussion, but the thing they need the most is scanning equipment. Did you get that impression? Oh, no, that was one of the things. That, that was one of their priorities, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Durbin's right on that. But uh, also, they said barriers and people, all three. You got to have it all. Said, said technology, that's what you're talking about. They Without said it is barriers, a priority. We they said that is time. a priority, but you can't yeah. do it But alone. not to the exclusion of you the other have priorities. It's yeah. three-legged stool. Can any of you point to one specific thing that you heard today that you didn't know before that you feel moves you closer to a deal, either politically or substantively? I can say for me, uh, we've heard that 90% of the drugs come through the points of entry. The point was made today that because of the better detection at the points of entry for illegal drugs, that they are picking up more and more drugs, more and more drugs coming in. Uh, and the un, uh, not at the ports of entry, but on the unpatrolled areas of the border. To me, that's very troubling. And they said the amounts that they're pick that they picked up in their latest drug bust was a larger amount of cocaine, which indicates that, uh, in some sense, uh, maybe the uh, cartels and others are sensing that because these are unpatrolled areas, they're much more vulnerable. And that's troubling to me, coming from the state that I represent. Well, one thing I picked up today that uh, I thought about before, it's just one thing I picked up from the meeting today that I thought about before but and never heard it uh, directly from the people. Terrorists are coming across the border. Uh, not just uh, people looking for a better way of life, uh, looking uh, to get a, a job, but people that would really do us harm, not just from Central America, but from all over the world, because it's port of entry, easy entry. So, so, Speaker Pelosi yeah, said she spoke to you about the status of this, that said she would support what you guys Wait put minute, out of there? Start again. Speaker Pelosi told us this morning that she had spoken to you about the conference committee's work. She Can you characterize that discussion a little bit? Well, I just had a nice talking with uh, talk with the uh, speaker the other day. We're, we've known each other a long time. And, uh, I just said, look, can we reach a yes on this as any way, or are we wasting our time? She said no, keep working together, and she said she would like to see a legislative solution. The sooner the better. Did she commit to putting whatever you produce onto the floor? Uh, she didn't say that. I never asked that, but she did say that she wanted us to do it on the appropriation level. Mr. Chairman, where is the compromise? Here, Mr. Chairman, where is the compromise? I wanted to add one quick point real quick um, about barriers. Really important point was that barriers are needed to direct uh, a lot of this traffic to the points of entry, the ports of entry, because they're so successful there at the ports. So that's a very important component to this entire process and discussion that was pointed out today. Gentlemen, Thank Mr. You. Chairman, can I just ask you, though, it, I mean, it doesn't seem like listening to Democrats and Republicans that this argument has changed anything. I mean, it, it seems like Democrats are still saying... No, no, no we're, we're having more dialogue. No, 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 oh, no. We're no, definitely no, having more dialogue. No, the dialogue is good. The tone yeah. is good. Uh, we're talking about substance. Uh, I, I would say we've got a much better chance today than we had Monday to reach some kind of resolution and, to this. And do you need Why the president that? to stay out of it in order to get a solution? Well, 
I think if we could just do it ourselves, uh, everybody stay out of it. That'd the, be good. I'll take that out, yeah. the, 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 but the that generally doesn't happen no, up here. The important point is we're based off the same facts we today. We, we have the same evidence, the same facts, the heard, same experts, and, and that's really important. Can you do it by Friday? Can, there was a talk about getting it done by Friday. Can you well, still do that by Friday? Well, we'd like to. We could do it by tonight, but uh, <laughs> will we? Here's, what's, thank you. What's next? Yeah. What's next? Thank you. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? I'm always enthralled by the Senate chamber itself, the walls themselves. Oh, if they could speak, what could they tell us? What would they tell us? C-SPAN.